Hey guys, Rick Hogg with Warhawk Tactical. I want to talk to you about how to use Airsoft as a supplemental training tool to your regular firearms training. Here's the key thing to understand. Whenever I purchase that firearm, so in this case, I've got this Walther pistol here. And I also have this Walther Airsoft pistol. What you can kind of notice is just by looking at the two, the ergonomics is very much the same. My controls on this side are pretty much the same. And then if we look on the opposite side, we can notice my controls, ergonomics are the same. So it gives me a way that I can actually practice shooting a projectile out of an airsoft pistol while still getting that good training at home when I can't always get to the range. So what you'll find the beauty is here is yes, I've got my regular firearm fits in the holster. I can sit there and draw it like I normally would. Everything works fine. And then even I can sit there with my airsoft and I can still draw my regular airsoft pistol out. Now, the thing to understand is the beauty with this airsoft supplemental tool is now I can be in the confines of the house or out in the backyard as long as I've got a good backstop or something to stop that projectile from coming out. Now I can actually align my sights, press the trigger, and actually get a projectile to come out to ensure that my marksmanship is there. Biggest thing I'm gonna say is when you're in the house, figure out where's that safe spot that you can do airsoft training. I can either do it physically inside, I can go outside as long as the, the backstop is clear, but I've gotta find that spot because there is projectiles coming out. Here's the other thing that a lot of people don't consider or don't think about is I've got to have eye protection when I'm sitting there doing this training. Because again, I am launching a projectile. If it does hit something, the last thing I want is that BB hitting whatever, now flying back, potentially putting my eye out. The other thing I've got to consider is if I am in the house, make sure that backstop's clear because if I'm just shooting at a regular paper target, you're gonna wind up that you're gonna put holes in that drywall, not a good place to be. I can potentially break things that are in there. So have a way that that BB is being trapped when you're actually firing it. If you're outside, same thing, backstop's clear. You can use your Walther Airsoft as a supplemental tool to your regular Walther firearm, still continue that training. So if I can't get out to the range, that's fine. I can do my dry fire training. I can actually use my Airsoft to shoot projectiles. And then when the time fits, I can actually make myself get out to the range, be able to fire those live rounds and confirm my marksmanship and ensure that I'm completing my training cycle.